Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Selby Farm episode 8. So we recorded yesterday's episode with my dad and uh, yeah, we came down to the yard and realised obviously I was wanting to show my dad the yard that I've got in here and it wasn't, uh, for whatever reason, it was not uh, working. So what happened was we came in and all the ground was back to normal. And obviously I'd already done all the ground. Uh, but what it was, was the ground response had updated. Uh, and that means it then deactivates your, you know, de deactivates your thing. Uh, bleh, co come on, Mark, it doesn't deactivate your thing. It deactivates the ground response so that you have to then reactivate it. I hadn't then reactivated it so I had to come in the game find out I hadn't reactivated it and then by the time I'd gone out and saved our progress obviously I had to come back in and redo it. So the day we've got a bit of cultivating to do. We've got some, I fancied some new equipment. Uh, why not? So I'm thinking about this case, the 400 horsepower one. And I'm also thinking about bringing this old beast onto the farm because I haven't really used it that much. Which the tractor in question is this. So I'm thinking about getting one of these. So this is 2017 or the, or the original. I wonder what's the difference. Do they sound different or something? Hang on. Right. I want to know what the sound if if there's actually a sound difference or something. Uh, hang on, right, that's what I want. Uh, right. Oh, I don't know if I'm that keen. Now they look a bit, uh, they look a bit clean. So that's the old one. I was just wondering if they sounded right. So they do both sound the same. Yeah, I'm not keen on that as a tractor. That looks horrid. Uh, yeah. So the I want to use some of the uh, I'm getting rid of them now. So I wanted to use an older tractor, but I also wanted to try out some of the smaller big bud uh, equipment. So for instance, there is a smaller big bud cultivator, which is this one. You need about 400 horsepower to pull it. So obviously where some of our, the TG would pull it, I think, would it? Ah, 300 horsepower. So we're looking on the long, on the lines of like, well, uh, that Vulture, I think, would pull it for 400 horsepower. Uh, obviously the quad track would pull it. Uh, the T7? Nah. It would struggle. Uh, that's 300. What's it like with a bigger engine in 370? So that might, you know. Uh, basically, what I wanted was a decent powered tractor on the farm, you know, something with a reasonable amount of go. Uh, but also, I didn't want something too new, so I'm probably trying to ask for too much. Uh, so the class would probably do so I'm looking on the lines obviously the big this big bud would uh, would pull it uh, I don't really want any articulated tractor so I'm thinking like the challenger or this case because you can put the big engine in this case uh, and we could run the narrow twin wheels on it, just why not? I would run wide tyres on it anyway. So I'm going to run it. 
with the new cultivator that we just bought and I might just buy a challenger so I've got one because it's a tractor I just never use but I really want to use some of the not massive equipment because we've not got huge fields but uh, see I think this will be a good tractor to have on the farm I think it does sound good as well Bit of lag there. So I think I want to know. I want to know if this will pull it. Whoa! Chill out. So this is like 450 horsepower. I can just probably turn the gearbox mod off on this tractor. Right, so I'm going to take this down to the farm that, uh, the field that I'm currently finishing baling. So if we whip this down to the farm that we're currently finishing baling and then I'm just going to say what have I done with me with me puffer Hey, right, so we're going to run this down to the field 14 we're running at the moment I want to get that done and cultivated the day uh, so we're going to go and empty the bales out of it and get it cultivated get it ready for seeding so yeah we've got we'll keep the out the uh, episodes around about the hour mark so we should have enough time uh, so i want to get this field sorted today and then next episode we'll need to do a bit of cow feeding as well all right so we're going to unfold this monstrosity i can't remember how big it is i think it's only an eight meter this job But it looks nice. I would say we could probably run this with a smaller tractor. Yes, that that pulls for fun, man. It's nice and compact, actually. I think what I'm going to do on that front, then I'm going to go and sell. That's not actually anywhere near as big as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. So I'm going to sell on, i tell you what, I'm going to sell that animal trailer because I've been meaning to bloody sell the thing for ages. Uh, and then I'm going to sell that cultivator because we'll just never use it because I'm going to buy another one as well. So I really want to get... That's a 384 horsepower. I want to get a big challenger for the farm. Just, just why not? Why not? So then I'm going to treat the big challenger to a big cultivator and try that out instead. So I don't think we're going to get that around these roads, if I'm being brutally honest. So we could run that cultivator on it, which folds up well. Uh. What else are we running in here? Now nah, we're gonna that thing's ridiculous. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run this one with the challenger and see if we can get it out of the fence, uh, out of the field. Uh, so I want the shop, which is that. I really need to tidy up my area as well today. We need to put some of them cedars away and tidy up the farm a little bit. Right, so we're going to leave her here for now. It's nice looking, eh? I'm going to go and see if I can get that challenger out, out of the... Uh... This is nice. This tractor just I don't know let me know in the comments do you guys ever use this tractor 
because I just never use it at all. And it seems such a shame because it was, oh, hang on. It was equipment that wasn't in 15. Uh, and I just feel like I should be using it more. We are not getting this out of this small farm. I might have gone a bit big here. I feel like we need our beacons on. I really don't feel like we're going to get this out of here. I don't know if there's a better way to get to the main road. It sounds great. I like it. it. I agree it's massive and it's ridiculous for this map. However, bear with me. I don't like big stupid maps with square fields. What's happening here? So this, this is the issue in question. Are we going to fit this through this gate? Indicator on boys, indicator on. We could be winning here. Oh, we're getting there. It's not ridiculous at all. Get the other indicator on now. Unfold it because I don't know how big it is. Excellent. Right, we're going to knock that off and we'll come back to that after. Uh, my little question being though, what does that that says it needs 500 horsepower and we've got six, so we're good. Yeah, she ran all right. I like it. I'm happy with that. Right. Let's get some fast bail loading done. Uh, and we need to whip the harvester back to the farm of it. So. Right, we're going to turn this one on. We'll shift the tractor up here as well. I'll clear the bottom of the field first. And also what we need to start doing again is taking our time with the bales because the last bale trailer I tipped over but it also wasn't stacked the best. If I'm going to be honest. I stacked the bottom really well, but then when I stacked the top, I just didn't really care. Uh, right. Sorry about that. I must have left uh, Facebook or something open. If you just heard the pinging noise, that was the proud ping of Facebook or something. Ah, oh, I was bang on there. I was absolutely bang on. I went on the outside view just to double check, but I couldn't have been any more on it there. Excellent, so what I'll do is I'll probably keep the case and use that for the smaller fields and, uh, and a couple of the bigger fields we'll use the, the big challenger on uh, but we'll see how it goes 
Uh, if you if you disagree with equipment and things and you think it's just too big, let me know and we will not use it. Uh, I was thinking about... I just... I actually want to use one of the big bud tractors, the smaller one. Is granted, I think the, the bigger big bud will be just too big for this map. Uh, but again, otherwise I'll never use this stuff because I just don't play. I don't enjoy the big open maps, you know. I really don't. I'll be going back to manual loading soon, but I've got to admit the uh, the auto bail spike for working on my own and trying to do 10 different jobs, and, and which I'm really enjoying doing. It, it's so much more practical having the auto bail spike, oh, honestly. I can actually load up a trailer on my own a lot, a lot, a lot quicker. Uh, and get a few more jobs done, which is enjoyable. I love trying to load from the cockpit view. Two bales down this facility. Yeah, and then we'll shift the tractor a bit. The only thing is, I just can't see. Oh, I was, I was bang on. I'll just go and pick another two bales up, and then we'll shift. We'll shift the tractor up a bit. So my end goal was to get this field cleared today with the bales uh, also uh, and get the, re the reset point cleaned up and get the farm equipment put away and if I could get a bit of cultivating done in this field that was my end goal for today but we'll see, we'll see how she goes. Oh, I'm not happy with that really, oh no she's gone back in. Yeah, she's alright, she's clean. Alright, so we're going to run this up here a little bit more. In our T7. We'll leave it on the flat ground the best we can. Uh, where's my little telehandler at? See we've got a harvester there left out from yesterday's work so we'll uh, we'll get that cleared away and uh, I've got a load of gear down at the reset point that needs putting away at the main farm which we'll do once we've got this field cleared because we're going on to chopping corn after this we're going to go and finish field 7 and chop the corn I'm going to need to go on the outside view for this I want to try and get it as neat as possible because it makes it so much easier at the other end to take all the bales off. So that's that's the task. It's just it makes it really enjoyable to load bales. Hey, I don't get me wrong. I'm not all for doing everything the fastest, easiest way, but 
it definitely it definitely makes things easier uh, but also means you can get more done if you if you're someone who I don't know maybe works a lot and you don't have a lot of time to spend on farming and you don't want to spend you know an hour clearing a field of bales or you're just not very good at clearing bales I think this is a great option I don't know if that's gonna poo itself a little bit I did a little bit but Got any more bales that in here? Yeah. yeah, we'll get all this on the one trailer anyway. That should be handy. We've got the dear John down there. That just wants to go back to the farm. Fairly perfect for me that. Right, so uh, we'll get the bales at the end of the field, and then uh, we'll shift. We'll uh, we'll take the trailer down to the pigs. I'm gonna get two runs done around the outside, and then uh, with the cultivator, and then see where we're at from there. I think I picked up. Yeah, so there's just there's two for six bales to go on we're not going to get the other six on here but we'll uh, I've got an idea what we'll do is we'll take off this T7 that trailer's moving well that makes it more difficult yeah we'll take off the T7 once we strap it down We'll put on the uh, the little 6910 and uh, stick two wheels on the front of it. And then that's all the bales going down. And the next the next set of bales we do will be for the cows. We've got a fair few bales out of here. It doesn't help that this is bloody moving. The trail is like ever so slightly moving. I don't know. I don't know why. Right, two more bales on the back of that, and then uh, we'll stick two on the 6910. I'll just do the outside view for this. So there's two bales sat there for the 69. Oh, I missed that bale, didn't I? Oh, still missed it. There we go. So. We're going to need to take our time down to the pigs this time because I tipped it over last time. So, but I was doing like 70 mile an hour. <laughs> I wasn't going that fast, but I was definitely going faster than what was required. Oh, we're nearly bang on there. Right, so this is to go back to the farm. This is our field working telehandler. This needs uh, the straps put on. Yeah, can you see the trailers moving, look? It's weird. And we'll turn it around this way. I just want to take my time with it because uh, I certainly do not want to tip it over this time.
Ah, I'll tell you what. Seeing as all we're in here. I'll just whip this back to the farm then now. Found a nice shed yesterday when I was home with my dad, this one back here. I'm just going to park up all the tractors in here now because I think this looks perfect, straight out the gate. So all the tractors we're not using will get dumped in here for now. So I think it's, uh, this looks like a nice tractor shed. Because the other sheds are really, really deep. Oh. I left the old beacons on, we won't be using this old girl again today, I don't think. Uh. Alright, where's the... Oh, there she is. Right, so we've got two two bales to go on the front of this. Right, so that's my two bales on the front of this. Pick up my bale trailer and take my time down to the shop, uh, the pig farm. Sixty nine tens underpowered for this but it's just one of my favourite John Deere mods. Quite a load that, eh? I like that. I've just noticed I've gone the wrong way again. Ah, uh, what's it? Uh, can I reverse it in there? I've got I've gone the really long way again, but if I can get it reversed in there, it would be very very handy. I can't see a bean here. Don't tip over, darling, don't tip over. Sorry about the barking, guys. Someone's obviously just come home. Dog's going absolutely mental. Take me time, take me time, right. Right, we're back on the road. So we're gonna drive down, we're gonna drive this down to the pigs. And uh, and very much so take our time because I uh, can't afford to tip this over on my own because it's just takes so much getting back to. I can't see a bean with this. Sometimes as well, if you speed in a straight line, you then your brain forgets. Well, my brain forgot that 
when I was coming to a corner that I couldn't just carry that speed round. I actually forgot I had the trailer on, uh, to be honest. So. Yeah, we're 24 mile an hour down at the pigs, so, but I'm not bringing this tractor back up. I'm just going to leave these down at the pigs to unload next time. Because we, we unloaded these last episode, so I don't need to unload them again. I'll unload them when we need them. Yeah, so we're going to run these down at the pigs, and uh, I'm going to run these to the extra storage sheds. Uh, Oh, she's struggling. She's alright, she's alright. This is where I tipped it the last time. So we'll see how this goes. It's a full tractor though. Yeah, I know it isn't here, it's in the S-Bend where I tipped it. But everyone might be laughing watching this thinking, God, he's taking his time, but I just don't want to tip it over and I've gone far high, but it's because we've got the full bale spike to unload it with, which I really like learning how to use new stuff, so... Uh, and then we're going to go back and jump in the Challenger and do a bit of cultivating after I've shifted that. Uh, need to shift the... Uh, what do I need to shift? The harvester. I'm going to run these straight down to the extra sheds. Uh, not the... I'm not taking them into the pigs, which is here on the left. I'll take them down the extra sheds and we'll use the telehandler from the pigs to then unload them. It's only you only going from here to the pigs, so I'm just thinking if it's gonna be worth just reversing this in. Car. I didn't even check if there was a car there. I kind of got used to not using traffic there. That's not where I wanted it. I wanted it right in that corner there. Just thinking that. If I can use this doorway here. Thought I could just park this here. Thought that would do lovely. How much room have we got at the back there? I'll take the back a little bit. I don't want it in the trees, like. Alright, we'll leave this here for now. Lovely. So, right, isn't it? so that's to be unloaded next time we've got that new tractor for the pigs when we start having pigs we've got the auto trailer there we've got the water trailer with the fence which i forgot we even owned so we are going to jump back to the harvester now remove this out the field along with the telehandler. handler Where's me telly handler at? Oh, there she is. Get this field ready to clear. Oh, 
Right, so we're going to run this back down to the cow farm and then the case over there in the corner, I'll get that shifted later, but we'll, uh, we're going to run the Challenger just, just to see if it pulls the, the big cultivator okay. That looks really nice set up like that. Uh, and it's a setup that I've never used because I thought the big bud cultivators and things were only for big farms, but it's actually not too tight. I mean, it is tight. It's probably a bit big for this farm, but field 14, field 11, there's some big fields on here, and I just thought it might make a life a little bit easier having a bigger and a smaller cultivator. Right, she's gonna go in this shed down here. I'm gonna keep that shed for just trailers when we've got more. And I'm gonna stick this in this shed. Because there's one thing we have on here, there's plenty of sheds. Oh, hang on. I'm too used to reversing tractors now. Right, jobs are good. Slowly, slowly getting tidied up. Uh, yeah, so we've got air trailer in there. Uh, I've got another four trailers out being used as well. So I'm gonna go and stick this uh, down here as well, alongside the other alongside the field telehandler so let's put part of that in there that's that parked and we're going to jump along to the that should be all our equipment that's out and about put away uh, i can fold that up now because we're not going to use that Well, I am going to use it, but I'm going to use it for the smaller fields because it's actually nowhere near as big as I thought it was. Right, cultivating. I'm going to do some muck spreading as well. Maybe it's not the daylight, but... I got stuck. I have, huh? That's bigger than I thought it was there. Uh, stuck on a bloody fence. Right, we're all right at that. Excellent, we'll do a few runs in this and see how far we get. Uh, we're absolutely great on time. I don't like going too far over my time on the episodes because I know it bothers people. Uh, the last episode was about 14 minutes over, but you know, we, we I tipped the trailer over, we wanted to get it unstuck, and uh, it, was, it was a really good episode. I really, really enjoyed it. And again, on the episodes, even though they are single player based, if my dad or one of my friends wants to jump on with me, I'm not going to say no. My friend Andrew really struggles to get on the live streams with the times and the way he works, and he's got a lot of hobbies in that as well. So it uh, it works way better for him to uh, to just come on an episode. 
So she's a steep hill, this one, eh? I missed the, the edge a little bit there, but I was worried about hitting the edge. So it's a cracking shape field, this. Look at the shape of it. I mean, she's 650 horsepower, this, like, so... I, she's got no problems pulling it. Uh, I'm interested to try one of the, the smaller big butt out to see if it would pull uh, well, you know, better than this, but I can't see it. Like, this is a good... Good strong track to this. And again a track that my dad said he liked driving so I thought I ah, will get one for the farm and uh, he can drive it a bit and uh, when he's next on and see what he thinks. So yeah I'm fairly happy with it. I, can't, I don't tend to use new equipment too much, you know, but uh, I really like this cultivator, I mean the detail on this cultivator is insane, you know, it's really, really nice, again, DLC that I purchased that I've just never really used, because the big bud stuff's for big stuff, but the smaller big bud cultivator, it's only 8 metres, I know a lot of people who use 12 metre cultivators, even, you know, 10, 12 metre cultivators, on the smaller farms uh, the other one that I just got that one there that's only 8 meters this one's 12 or 14 I think so this this one is, is, a, is a fairly hefty size cultivator but uh, again you, you can you can just about get it down the road so why can't I hang on why, I want to hit that There we go. Right, we're gonna need to jump out and shut the old gate here. Oh, two settings, guys. I just uh, need to put the dog back out. Finn, out you go. No, you're all right, Jim. Right, I'm back, guys. Oh. So, we're gonna finish doing this cultivator. Oh, a dog does like to let himself into rooms. He's a cracking dog, though. Right, so once you get the first run in, you don't need to worry about the sides as much then. Uh, you know, it's not too bad. So we should be able to run around about there. Dead easy. Excellent. So I'm going to run... I'm going to run this as straight as I can off by eye just to try and straighten the field up a little bit and then we're going to go left and cut off that bit uh, so I'll just try and keep my eye as straight as possible uh, I can't really see where straight is but we're not too bad at that it's not really that important, it's just it's easier to have a nice line to run down than trying to keep running around the curve. So I thought we may as well just cut this off. And then this will be ready for seeding next episode. I'm not going to run like silly massive seeders. Uh, I might look into seeing what the smaller seeder is they do. Because the, the smaller big bud stuff that comes with the smaller big bud tractor, it's, it's not actually that bad. Uh, yeah, it's not ridiculous, you know. Uh, which which I like. So as I say, we probably could get away with the smaller big bud tractor on this farm. You know, in real life, I've seen some huge tractors on the road. Uh, but again, it's it is slightly impractical. But I just like using all the stuff I've got, you know. I thought I brought my battery charger up with us, I must not have done, my battery's going to die on my smoker. Right, we'll pick that up then out. Oh, she's fishtailing. Chill out, chill out darling, chill out, that's it. Right, so we're going to drop that now.
I might have got that in the one run there if I'd have moved over a bit, but we'll come back for it. That very small bit there that I've just missed. We'll whip round at the other end. Then we'll be two or three passes up the up and down the uh, the other side and that's feel 14 done so that makes it more practical and more doable for myself uh, especially when i'm doing most of the work on my own I, i'm really not that keen on using hired workers if i can get away with it uh, i prefer to just do the stuff myself if i can uh, but sometimes it's not practical to do it yourself and i know that but hired workers on these fields unless you can square the field off the hired workers don't work that well, they make it harder to pick the bales up and everything else, so if you can do it yourself it's great. She's going to need a wash at this. But again, my achievement for today was to finish off the baling on this field, finish picking up the bales, take the bales down to the cows, put the equipment away off this field, and then cultivate it if I had time, and then, uh, then take the... Uh, once it was cultivated put everything away and then take everything from the reset point and put it away in the farm so that's my task because we're still getting set up on this farm you know and I'm, I'm still really I'm really really enjoying this farm it turns on a penny this thing right Yeah, so we're going to be a good three or four runs up and down this field, so, but it's a lot straighter than it was now, so you just up and down and it's done, so. But I like doing the edges and that, it really makes you, it really makes you look, you know. Uh, I really can't fault the gear, I mean, even this cultivator, which is huge, it's it's definitely usable. And the, the, mod, the modelling of it, I mean, I don't know if you can see. But the modelling of this cultivator is just fantastic. I love the colour of it. Obviously it's a bit dirty, but it just looks fantastic. I'm really, really happy with it. And that deserves a screenshot there. See if we can get a bit of a better screenshot there. I do like a cheeky screenshot. So yeah, I'm really, really, uh, yeah, I, I love using all the stuff. I love the DLC. I haven't actually pre-ordered the new DLC yet, but I am going to. But I wanted to get other things sorted first. It's not out till November, so I've got a bit of time yet. But I want to get the new DLC and try it. I know there's a lot of people that won't have it. So it'll, that'll make it harder for the uh, server because lots of people won't have it. So I won't be able to run it on the server, you know. I was just going to say, I wonder if she's going to get stuck on the fence. No, nope, we're alright at that. She's definitely going to struggle up this hill. Yeah, I'm just wondering, uh, while we're doing this field, oh yeah, we're all like that. I'm just wondering, so yeah, we've got, we're in field 14, so we've got field 34, uh, field 22, field 6 and 7, which is huge. 34 is the biggest, and we've got 35 and 12 to go with it, so it's not like this equipment won't come in handy. And it's not like you, I'm not going to go and use this equipment in a tiny, tiny field, you know. Uh, like, for a, example, field 13 or field 26, 27. I'm not going to go and use this cultivator in it. It's ridiculous. Uh, so, yeah, it's been practical as well. Some people like to use the big stuff just to get stuff done as physically as fast as possible. And I completely understand that. I get it. You know, even from a point of... A lot of people don't have an awful lot of time on their hands, uh, but I don't mind coming on, spending an hour, and it taking an hour to do a whole field. It that's great. I like that. You know, it's taken us a few episodes just to do this field, so I definitely need to be faster than that. I get that, but 
I'm just really enjoying Selby Farm, really loving it. Honestly, I'm, I think it's a great farm. It's very, very understated. It's really, really good. I'm really enjoying it. What we're looking at, another three passes. If I use the outside view, I might get away with another two passes. And use the whole width of the cultivator. When I use the inside cockpit view, I do lose a little bit. I, I lose a little bit of the edge because I really struggle to do the whole, to use the whole cultivator. Yeah, we're gonna be three passes. I don't know if I'll get that in a wanna. Oh, we won't now, not that I've moved over for whatever reason. That's not taking long. So we'll have time to go and uh, I want to put a manure by point in for obviously for manure uh, and the slurry point into the uh, reset point. So I want to go and do that. But I also want to uh, put put away the stuff at the, the reset point. So I just tidy the stuff up a little bit, ready for the next episode. And uh, yeah, my dad's probably going to be in the next episode, which is awesome. And you get a lot more done. And if things are put away and tidy, at least you know where it, you know where everything is. The next episode's going to be finishing field seven, which you can see over there. It's corn. So we've got the trailer parked up over there, so we've got a couple of runs done on the outside. There's still a lot more to do on field 7. But with two of us running it, it shouldn't be too bad. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I don't feel the need to buy many more fields at the moment, because I'm just enjoying the jobs taking quite a while. It doesn't bother me at all. Uh, I'm going to take this back to the farm now and uh, clean this. Put the other one away as well. And then uh, we're going to go and buy a manure by point and a slurry by point uh, for the reset point. Because the main farm doesn't have any animals on it. And I absolutely love that. Oh. I, need, I miss points on both, both sides there. Bit of a rocky error there for me. I know I should lift a cultivator when I'm uh, turning around, <laughs> but hey, field's done, looking good, looking nice and fresh, awesome tractor, and there you go, you don't have to use the big bud stuff all the time, and I've really enjoyed using this tractor to be honest, I'm, I don't normally bother about little bits like that, but I'm going to catch it, right, so we're going to fold this up and out, I'm assuming that's going to carry on folding, is it? Yeah. So that's it folded. We're going to take this one back to the main farm, which is over here. Uh, and stick this away. We take getting that thing back in. I'm just going to put these in here, along with the trailers, when we've got them. I think it makes sense to put these in here. I don't know how the hell I'm going to reverse that big cultivator. I don't even know if it's reversible. Uh, if not, we'll need to find somewhere nice and neat to park it. Sometimes then, then run through sheds are better for that. Right, I'll tell you what, while we're here, I'm going to use this tractor to go and pick up some gear from the reset point. Sorry if you're a bit bored when I'm just uh, sorting vehicles and that out, but we'll obviously... Oh, Jesus Christ, there's a wall there, Mark. Obviously, this is a new farm still. Uh, you know... What? Oh, that's an old tractor. I thought it was one of mine. <laughs> yeah, this, this, this is a... You know, it, it, it is still a new farm. So, I 
Right, so we've got this seed that'll go on here. And then the header that'll probably just stay at this reset point. Because it's just more practical it being here. There's nowhere massive at the farm for it to go. So, while I'm here actually, I've been, seeing as though that I got the jobs done I wanted to get done, I've been really meaning to fence this compound. And uh, I've not really had time. Did I put the... Uh, I did put these in. I was just going to say, did I put these in? I'm wondering if this would fit on there. Can you not put this anywhere here? Oh yeah, you could probably put it there on the corner. Or you can put it... Oh yeah, okay. So you can't, you can literally put these anywhere, right. So I'm assuming this one... I don't know why this one wouldn't go here. Possibly because it's part of the reset or something, I don't know. But I know it won't go there, but it'll go over here. It would probably go... It won't go there. It will go on this side, which would make this... It'll be the light getting in the way, I would think. Yeah, or in this corner here. So I don't know how level that is either, so we'll look into that, but for now... Uh, for now I definitely want to fence this off, uh, that's a nice shed that. It's a shame you can't put these sheds anywhere. But it's obviously, it is just purely because this is the reset point. But no, I, I want to I wanna fence this off and then I want to put some buy sell points in. Because... I'm looking at putting sheds in, but to be honest, we don't need sheds in here. There's absolutely no need for sheds in here. So, it's... We'll start off with a big gate. We'll put that in here. Uh, yeah, that way. Kind of wanted that as straight as possible, and then I'll straighten up the ground to go with it. I haven't done a very good job of getting this whole thing straight, have I? That really wants to go there, and then I'll straighten the compound up to go with it. Yeah, right, okay. So we'll put that there, and then we'll straighten up the compound to go with it. Ideal. Right, so... We want this gate here. I say gate, but fence post. I don't know what you call it. Right, so I want this as straight as possible. I want this to be in line with that. Yeah, that's in line. Right, so then I want to turn that over a bit like so. And then put some fences in. And then we'll we'll repave the bits we need to repave. Uh, again, a job I really wanted to get done. This is the thing when you're putting lights and things in, you you really don't know you don't know where the lights are gonna go until you've put the fences in and and so forth. So this is a corner piece which would go uh, hang on, is that gonna be two? Should I maybe gone I 
It's just gonna say, is this gonna stick out too much? But it doesn't matter because we can just move it. Alright, so we'll go down to the rocks with this. Like so. And we'll move back to. Oh no. Oh yeah, yeah. Hang on. Move back to this piece. I'll not fence the whole thing today because, to be honest, we won't have time. <laughs> Fencing and things takes a while. Right, so that's that as straight as I wanted it. So then we'll come this side. And uh, you just make sure the block is through the fence. And then you're good. Someone else home. Right, so we don't we don't need to uh, fence into the brick. I'm just wondering if I'm gonna get another fence in there now how far off is it off the brick because that'll look ridiculous I kind of just stop it there man can I maybe get one to come out of it and put a corner in there is a dog downstairs that is not happy Alright, so we'll come out here. To about there. Yeah, and then we'll go back down the way. I do like fencing. And again we'll we'll adjust the we'll adjust the ground to suit. Oh Matt, come on. Yeah, again we'll if you're on a if you're on a mouse and keyboard and a desk, this is much easier. You think I'm joking, but it really is way easier, right? So, so we'll get. Why can't I put this in here? Why won't it let me put this? I need to put it, hang on. See, that looks way better, doesn't it? So we'll do this side down here, and we'll do that side, and then... Uh, right, I'm going to go and put this cedar away anyway. Oh no, hang on. I'll... I'll carry on with a bit of fencing that I was doing there. Uh, I just worry about running out of time and things and, and causing people a nightmare. Right, so we should be alright there now. So that should be us. Hang on. Nowhere near straight. Right. So. I can't can't see. Oh, that might be where I was needing. Uh, no, hang on. It's the view, man. The view's terrible. No, we definitely need to be on the other side. Like so. And then we need to be closer. Alright. So that's, that's it in the brick. The trick is, once you put one fence in, don't change any of the, uh, don't change the rotation of the fence. Just keep going as far as you can, and then change the rotation once, and then do some more fencing, and you'll get a much, much neater. Yeah, you'll get a much neater f fence going on there. Right, so we're... 
We're at the point where we need one of these in down here. Right, so I I think I had this before, didn't I? Right. What we'll do is we'll not use a corner down here. Because it's not gonna a corner's not gonna work for down here. Come on, man. Don't be an absolute ass. Right, so. We'll do our own corner here. Right, and then. Wanna rotate that. Like so, but then we also want to rotate our mouse. Like so, and we wanna get that so that's straight down there, which it is. Uh, Rotate my view some more. Can I zoom in? Hang on. There she is. Right, and we're going to go straight down the back of here. Oh, I missed it. Missed the fence. I can't. I should just leave it. I can't. I'm sorry. But I I just I just can't leave it. So what, because that had to come out, you need to now make sure this is, you know, as level as possible to where you were, uh, and then just crack on the fencing again. It's never, the only thing I'll tell you now, it's never ever going to be perfect. But the slower you go, the better you'll be at it. And once you get a fence right, it does look good. But it is very, very difficult to get it right. I think I'm miles off being straight here. I think, look at the building compared to my fence. Ah, she's alright that. No, no, we're all right there. Right. Obviously, we're going to open up the compound a little bit more. Uh, right, so more fencing to about there. And then we want to rotate this camera like so. And then we want to rotate the fence. Hang on, wrong button. So the fence is like straight down there, and then hopefully you just stick that on that corner like so, and then just run straight down with it. I'm going to say that roller's going to be in my way, and that rock's going to cause a problem. No, yeah, we're running well. Is this tree going to be in my way? So we're going to need to remove some of our lights. Right, so the next issue we have trying to get the bloody thing to line up with that gate right 
So what we'll do is we will run We'll run from here. I might need to sell a little bit of fence, but it's not the end of the world. I need that to be exactly the same run as that, right? So we're all right with that. Right. Hang on. Why can't I put a fence in here? Oh, you can't put a fence on here at all because it's the it's the reset. Right. So can I put a fence here? So if I can fence all the way up here. So like there, I can make a rope. Right. So that's fine. We need to uh, we need to reroad. So we're good at that. I'm happy with that. So what I'll do is I'll move this gate and or that road. We'll regrass the road and I'll move this gate to about here. And then I can fence all the way up to the top later on. But I'm happy at that. Right. Got a couple of bits to go and put away and uh, and we're good. So I'll go and put this seed away, I'll end the episode there, I'm then going to bring in, I'll bring that uh, caterpillar back in and uh, put that away. Uh, and just, just make sure the farm's tidy for the next episode. So, say fencing and things, I know, I know you're not really uh, interested in stuff like that, I completely understand it, but it's little jobs like that that need doing and it makes a farm a farm, you know, it makes it, you know, when you're resetting stuff all the time and I, I do watch other students other strude, struders <laughs> I do watch other youtubers and you see them at the reset point an awful lot and uh, and it's just an empty field and you're like ah oh, if you just took five minutes I know you're busy but if you just took five minutes out of your really busy schedule you you could make a really nice reset so it looks nice every time you go back uh, and I, I find that a really big a really big thing that so uh, yeah I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna park this tractor up here. I'm not gonna bother cleaning the tractors at the moment because one, we haven't used them enough, and two, we really haven't had time to do any washing yet. Uh, so we're gonna do that. We're going to whip back to. Uh, is there nothing at the? reset point that's drivable yeah there we go so the only other thing that i really wanted to put in uh at the reset point was a buy and sell of uh slurry and this so th this thing is huge so the, this is the only thing i wanted to put in but as you can see all this is red because this is all reset so it if we do put something in it's going to have to be like either down here uh, or can we put it in the compound because that would be handy so i'm going to re-fence that anyway yeah so if we put that there or could we put it in that corner that would be better all right can i put it in there that would be perfect Right, so we'll put that in there, like so, and then we will put the slurry tank in this corner, like so, just turn around, and then we've got slurry, we'll put seed in later on, and every time we reset something that needs slurry or seed or something like that, that's that doable. Obviously we're going to go around the edge with a roller and put the roller back to normal. Uh, I'm also uh, obviously going to, when I get through, get rid of my lights and re-put them back in uh, as and when we know what corner's what. So, because all this needs re-rollering and, uh, and I'll do that off stream and then when we come back everything will be looking spot on and perfect. So, again guys, greatly appreciate you tuning in. Thanks again for watching. 
If you are new, go and check out the other content. If you're going to tune in uh, for the next uh, farm sim stream, will be Tuesday, 8 p.m. So knock yourself out for that. Other than that, greatly appreciated for your subscriptions and, you know, look forward to seeing you next episode. Thanks again for the content. If you've got any suggestions, leave it in the comments. Thank you. Goodbye.